So welcome back to the Java interview series. In this, we'll write a code and you have to guess the output. Okay, so the code is, let's say we have int i and the value of i is 7. Okay, and if I print this 7, if I print the value of i, so of course the value is 7, right? So you don't have to guess that. Let me run this just, just to print. So value is 7, right? What happens if we write 0 in front of 7? Nothing, nothing, right? If you run this, the answer is still 7, right? So what is doing? It's removing this 0. That's it. Let's change the code. Let's try to write 0, 1, 0. Okay, so which means it will print 10, right? So it will skip this 0 because 0 is on the left side or you can say on the most significant bit doesn't matter. Okay, and now if I run this, boom, the answer is 8. Why so? So in interview, they will give you this question, okay, this, this code, and they will ask you to guess the output. Okay, maybe there will be a round, you have to guess the output. And if you say the answer is 10, and then you're wrong, the answer is 8. Then question arises: why the answer is 8? It's because whenever you represent a number starting with 0, so whenever you start a number with 0, it directly becomes a octal number. Okay, and when you say in octal number, when you talk about 10, it is 8. Okay, so I hope you know how to convert a decimal number into octal number. Just try to convert this octal number into decimal number, it will get 8. So by default, this number here is an octal number. Just give give one more try. Let's try to write 10100 and the answer you will be getting is 64. Okay, so just try to convert this, this octal number into integer you will get 64. So point to remember, whenever you use 0 in front of any integer number, it becomes octal. Okay, so that's it from this video. In the next part, we'll talk about uh, uh, the hexadecimal system. So thanks so much for watching and do subscribe for the further videos.